we need to talk Amethyst. Oh, this is, there's nothing to talk about Bentley. Ooh, today is the day. It is the finale of Crossing the Line. If you're returning, we are about to find out what happened in the last one. If you did not see that and you're new, go check that one out because we're reading this lit story right now. We're with this girl's stepbrother. We're flirting on and off and, you know, things are going cute. We really helped him. He was a mess the night before, a drunken mess. We helped him back. Disaster. But, you know, we were good. And then we shut the next morning and we walk in and his ex is in a towel. So we're going to find out what happens. Did Bentley do something bad? I don't know. Let's see what happens. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow the amazing author Brie. Their Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. How could he do this? Okay, so she's returned from the room after Chanel, the trashy ex, was like, eh. He was so upset after seeing Chanel, it didn't seem like he wanted anything to do with her, which is why I feel Chanel set this up. I think she just went in there and, like, was going to, like, meet him in the shower without him knowing. But I don't know. But the second I leave, he calls her. I don't know if I want to cry or scream or cry. I know I have no right to be upset. It's not like we're together, but I feel played with. He seemed so into me, and everything he said in the bathroom last night at the party. Was it all a lie? Was he purposely leading me on? He better not. Or has he just seen me as a little naive girl he could toy with this whole time? I'm so, honestly, I'm just hurt. I'm so hurt by this. We can't really be angry because we're not together, but we can be hurt. Why would he do this? Is this him? Three new messages from Bentley. Let's see what he has to say for himself. I'm so sorry for last night. I hope you can forgive me. What is your room number? I need to talk to you. Please, Amethyst, I screwed up. I'm sorry. Reply with the passive aggressive response. We're not going to do, we're not going to leave him on red. We're going to reply. There is nothing to talk about. You don't owe me anything. You are free to do what you want. Oh, hit that phone, sis. I wish it was a flip phone. So she could have done that little iconic thing. Amethyst, can we talk? No. No. What do you want, Poppy? I'm sorry for what I said last night. It, not the truth. I shouldn't have said those things in front of everyone. Real nice apology. I almost completely forgot about this shit Poppy pulled last night. It didn't even matter anymore. I was so consumed with the thoughts of Bentley being with Chanel. I didn't care about anything else. It's fine, I guess. Great, let's go eat. I think I'm going to skip brunch. You can't. Marissa will have a total freak out. Chanel left. Pressed to Victoria and Chad are so hungry they can't even get out of bed. She's pissed that everyone keeps bailing, so you have to go. Chanel left. Yeah, she had to head back to L.A. early. She's going back to L.A.? I thought she lived in New York. She does, but she got offered a big job, so she'll be in L.A. for a while. Just great. Now we have to see her with Bentley all the time. Why does it matter? Oh, I was just wondering. Okay, come on. I can't with Poppy anymore. I really gave the girl the benefit of the doubt the first few chapters. I really did. And I thought her taking us in was very sweet and stuff, but... Poppy, while there are glimmers of a good person, I, it's just not enough. There's just not enough development with her. I'm not seeing the good. I can see the glimmers of good. The glimmers, not the good though. Glimmers. Mm. Get it together, Harvey. This is my birthday brunch. Can you stop yelling? I feel like shit. We've been celebrating your birthday for the past three days. It's just a birthday. Having one doesn't make you special. Everyone has them. Oh, Harvey's going off. Oh my gosh. Oh. Brunch is canceled. Marissa waits. Okay, good. You go help. I thought this was a brunch. Where's all the food? I'm starving. I'm so, so upset and I know I shouldn't care, but where is Bentley? Oh, there he is. And just as the thought enters my mind, the scent of his strong cologne flows through my nostrils. I can sense his powerful presence looming over me. What do you have to say for yourself? It makes me feel weak in the knees, but I know I need to keep it together. We need to talk Amethyst. Oh, this is, there's nothing to talk about, Bentley. Ooh. Oh my gosh, we just did that. 
Are we head? I'm trying my best not to look in his direction, but it's so hard. Why does he have to look so sexy in those sunglasses? I can tell she's trying to avoid contact with me. I never wanted to be just another in a long line of people who have hurt her. I miss her smile already. This is destroying me. But does he know what this is about? Does he know that she met Chanel? Because if he thinks this is about the whole drunk experience, like, we didn't care. He was messy, sure, whatever, but it's fine. To never seen a pair of sunglasses look so good. That is true. Our girl is popping over here. You can't avoid me any longer. You're stuck in this car with me for three more hours. And Poppy's just bopping over there. I'm not avoiding you. We just have nothing left to talk about. You can do whatever you want with whoever you want. What? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Bentley Banks. I'm not some toy you can play with whenever you're bored. Go off, sis. What the hell is she talking about? Oh, you know exactly what we're talking about, Bentley. She thinks I'm playing her because I got too drunk last night. I'm not playing you, Amethyst. What I did was insensitive and irresponsible. I'm more sorry than you'll ever know. Whatever. Do what you want. Do what I want. What is that supposed to mean? I'll give you your space for now, but this conversation is far from over. Okay, so he doesn't know. We'll see about that. Which is interesting. Okay, so we're getting a message. Margo. Hey girl, sorry I left early yesterday. Marissa said I could leave after I did her makeup, so I took that chance and ran. LOL. No worries, I would have done the same. Did you end up finding Bentley Saturday night? Yeah. Why that face? Any details? Are you free to date with me for lunch? I'm actually grabbing coffee with a friend after class. You should meet us. Most definitely. See you then. Okay, so our new little friend group are icons over here, which I stand these girls. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hey, Margo, this is my friend Layla. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Look at the girlies over here. So Amethyst told me you're a makeup artist. Okay, so they're hitting it up. Oh, four new messages from Bentley. He's blowing us up. Where are you? I'm supposed to make you and Pop, sure you and Poppy come home from class. Are you okay? At least let me know that you're safe. I'm safe. You don't have to worry about me. I wish I could. Oh, oh, wait, that audacity. Who does he think he is? He goes and sleeps with someone else and expects me to answer to him. He sure as hell wasn't worrying about me when he called Chanel. Amethyst, who's texting you so much? Bentley, he's freaking out because I didn't tell him I was going somewhere. Why does he care so much as he into you? Oh, Layla, you don't know half of it, girl. It was a dramatic-ass weekend. So does that mean Saturday night went well? Did you guys finally get down? Oh, no, honey, no. With Spill, <clears throat> I need to know everything. I went looking for him and found him belligerently drunk at the bar. I helped him up to his room and he asked me to stay with him. Yes, girl, how was it? Do you rock your world? I've heard he's a rock star. Oh my god, stop, we didn't. <laughs> Why not? He fell asleep for a few hours and went back to my room. I went to check on him the next morning and Chanel was there, in her towel, telling me that they had a rough night. Yeah, girls. His supermodel ex, I knew that bitch was up to no good. I thought she demolished his heart last time. What's he doing crawling back to her? I don't even have a right to be upset. I just thought he was different. What do you mean you don't have a right to be upset? Well, we're just friends. He has the right to do what he wants. I like how everyone's like, no, no, honey. Do you want to tell her or should I? Amethyst, you have every right to be upset. Yeah, they're lucky it wasn't me. There's no survivors when I'm in a rage. You've been telling me for weeks how much he's been flirting with you. He even made up a plan to pretend date you. True. Come on, he was totally playing you. It was probably his plan all along. I say forget him and find someone new. And in case somebody's told you, the entire friend group is absolutely toxic. If only it were that easy. I felt things for Bentley I never felt with anyone before. I get butterflies. Okay, she's fallen for him. She loves him. Yeah, she's fallen. We, we know. We know, honey. I agree. Every time we talk, it's always some drama that you don't deserve. Come hang with us instead. I'd love to, Layla. But I'm afraid of what Poppy might say. Girl, you know what you have to do. It's just I owe her so much of my life now that I feel indebted to her. I have to make her happy, I guess. That's not how being nice works. You don't do nice things so people can be indebted to you forever. You're done. We're moving you out of that toxic place this weekend. Poppy can take it up with me if she has a problem. Margo, you're a genius. Anything you two need to make this happen, I would love to help. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're gonna move into a better environment. I need to stand up for myself, and that means moving out of there. Okay, so we're gonna pull it. It was really nice meeting you, Lily. You seem like a really cool person. You too, Margo. I'm really glad you're not like Poppy's friends. Those two are adorable. I want them to get together so badly. I love them. 
I bet. Okay, let's make a love connection. You two should exchange numbers. I mean, I'd love to. I don't want to be the only time I see Margaret be whenever we have a crisis amethyst. Just make a little connection. I ship you two so hard. I don't want to be a third wheel here. Babe, you're never unwelcome. We love you, darling. Thanks for introducing us. Amethyst, do you want me to drop you off at Poppy's on my way home? No, thanks. I think I'm going to walk. It's such a beautiful day and I want to clear my head. Oh, I looked up your resident coordinator for your school. She'll help you find the right place. Margo, you're the best. Catch you two later. See you tomorrow in class. Okay, so we're apparently moving out. We're getting out of the environment with Poppy. Hi, is this residential advisors? I'm looking for on-campus housing. Of course, what's your name in here? It's Amethyst and I'm a sophomore. Great, come to our office anytime today and we can get you arranged to SAP. Looking forward to it. Okay, so we're going to be on campus now. We're moving out of that environment. This is what I have to do. She is not happy there. Poppy is just not it. After calling this house a home for months, I knew I can no longer live under this roof. Poppy has been such a handful. I can't stick around without feeling terrible for myself. It's time I made a decision for myself. Poppy, hey girl, can you grab me a water? I'm absolutely thirsty. Speaking of which, Chad is coming over later. Do you mind leaving? Actually, Poppy, I want to talk to you about something. Can't wait until after getting the water. Not really. I started researching other uh, living places on campus, actually. I found a really cool spot. If you ever want to visit, you're more than welcome to. So you're leaving me? Well, after everything I've done for you, you're just going to up and go without ever saying thank you? Oh, honey. That's why I'm here. I want to say thank you. You helped me get off the streets. I gave you a new life and you can't even as much as buy me a fruit basket and a champagne ball to say thank you. Please, Papa, I really just want to say thank you for changing my life. It's really meant everything to me. Please don't be mad. I said, bitch, bye, don't walk into my life again unless you're on my level. Oh, honey. Okay, that's enough. Ever since you took me in, you treated me like a stray you found on the side of the road. Do you know what it feels like to be a pet project to someone else? I'm so thankful that you got out, me out of that situation. But that doesn't mean that you can use me as a servant. I don't treat you like a servant. You just asked me to fetch you water. If anything, you use me like an accessory. One that people see good for her. She's not all bad. You're only nice to me to make yourself look good. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. You are disgusting. Friendship isn't about winning or losing. I hope one day, Poppy, you learn that. I don't wish you any harm. I wish that you learn to be a better person. Goodbye, Poppy. Bye. Yeah, I know. Don't come begging. I really can't believe she said those terrible things to me. I thought she was someone I could trust. Girl, but repeatedly she hurt my feelings. There's no way I could stay in this house with her in it. I gotta tell her how she made me feel, and hopefully she learns a lesson about how to treat people. Amethyst? I'm packing. You won't have to see me again. Why are you in here? Can I come in? Okay. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm not good at this sort of stuff, but I don't want you to leave angry. I have a spare designer bag you can pack your stuff into. I'm fine, Poppy. Hey, Amethyst. Yes, I'm pretty busy. Uh, thank you for being a good friend even when I wasn't. Okay. Where was this earlier? Did she actually just genuinely thank me? That's never happened before. I know what you're thinking. I mean it. Can we hug, maybe? It's all I ever wanted. Okay, just a little perfume before, okay? I don't want a chip or nail out help you move. Proud of you for making your own decision. Thank you. Okay, toodles. Okay. I don't hate her as much as I did because let me tell you, in that moment when she was trying us, oh, I was ready to go off. I was trying to keep the eye houses together. Normally I would go off, but I kept it together on that little blonde bimbo. But, but... She made a slight, a centimeter of progress. Don't like her still. Trash. Garbage. But at least we ended on cute terms. I didn't have too much stuff, so we also had to head to a few department stores to buy furniture. Glad I could help you move. Okay, we have a cute new place. Why is that? There's really not too many boxes here. That's a minimalist lifestyle, and I applaud it. Oh, Minimalist is one way of putting it. Poor might be another. This is actually an amazing spot. Ugh, look at all that greenery. It's such good energy. Yeah, the view is pretty decent. Let's be roommates. Think about it. We could do morning yoga together, buy a few plants, maybe cook meals together. It would be so much fun. And the best part is that we can just hang out whenever. Girl, you trying to get me to pay? 
That's okay. My current apartment has good synergy. Thanks for everything, Layla. Three in red text. Is that Bentley? Yeah, he really hasn't given up since Vegas. What's he saying? He's been asking to meet up. Does he seem honest? He has been with me. I say meet up with him here, Mount. I can lock up and give you the keys later. Okay, I'll see you later then. Good luck, girl. Okay, so we're gonna meet at the beach. Let's see what Bentley Banks has to say. The same place as the party weeks ago. Oh, the messy party. I showed up a little early. It was freezing. I was shaking. And then I saw him hurriedly walking over and suddenly things felt a little warmer. He's still cute even when flustered. Sorry to make you wait. I got here a bit early. Well, there's a lot I wanted to say. I'm here, so say what you have to say. Oh, she's ready to drag. All right. I'm glad we came to this beach because it's the first place I really understood who we were, what our relationship truly was, after the whole Preston thing. <laughs> Let's get to the hooking up with your ex part. She went in. I love it. That's not true. I didn't. Okay, Bentley, this has been nice, but I should go. I shouldn't even care. We're not together. Wait, Amethyst, I promise. I didn't even know she was in my room. I was taking a shower and she must have come in. That seems so far fetched that it's true. I guess. The thing about it is, is Bentley's such a sweetheart. Like, we all know he didn't actually do that with her. We're just playing. I'm gonna believe him. Bentley, you never lied to me. I don't trust easily, but I want to believe you. Anything else we should talk about? Can we talk about us? Since you're no longer living in Poppy's house, I'm no longer required to watch out for you. But I still want to be part of your life. Oh, is that true, Bentley Banks? You're not like anyone I've ever met before, Amethyst. And I'm tired of playing these games with each other. What are you trying to say, Bentley Banks? Amethyst, I love you. Oh, we can be on our own. Honestly, I stand that decision. I stand that that's an option. You guys know I love my independent moments. But Bentley's a sweetheart, so we're going to say we love him. Bentley, the time we spent together. I can't help myself when I'm around you. I can't just be friends. I love you, Bentley. You have no idea how long I've wanted to hear that from you. I'm glad you heard me out, Amethyst. I'm ready for us to set a future together. Aw, you've always been someone I can trust. Can I ask you a question? Sure, I'll always help you no matter what. I've been thinking of leaving my dad's business and pursuing my own passions, Shook. I don't want to do my father's real estate. I want to start my own company, help people find affordable housing. They need someone to fight for them so no one ever ends up on streets like you did. People shouldn't have to wait for a stranger to save them. Exactly. I know that sounds risky, maybe crazy too, but it's what I love. And now that we're together, I'm ready for anything. What do you think? I think he should do his own dreams. You're a good person, too good to be working at your dad's company. Although if you're, if we don't work out, what's your dad's phone number? <laughs> I think you should absolutely follow your dream. It's the sweetest thing I've heard. Thank you, Amethyst. I knew I should ask you. Well, I'm glad I could help. I gotta run, but thank you for being honest with me. Come by the apartment sometime. <sighs> okay, wait. After a few months, things... Okay, things are finally starting to settle down. Who? Really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Amethyst. I'm Candace. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, there isn't too much about me, but... First off, I'm super clean. I'm taking a really big class load this year. And I'm originally from... Candace told me all about her sweet life. She seemed like a genuinely happy girl and I was glad to get to know her. But we've had such different walks of life I was afraid to tell her. I only mentioned a few things. I didn't think she was ready for the full story. Maybe in time she would be. I told a few jokes to ease attention. Text from Bentley. Well, this year is definitely going to be fun. Oh, sorry. My boyfriend just texted me. I'll see you later. See you later, roomie. Okay, so... We went to the farmer's market together, since it was equally between his work and my dorm work perfectly. Every Sunday, we'd get coffee before and just walk past different booths. We'd talk and laugh for hours. We'd pretend we're anonymous in a crowd of people. I love Bentley. His whirlwind appearance in my life has made it that much better. Every time I look at him, I almost have to pinch myself. And the light of his love shined so, shine on me so bright I couldn't believe it sometimes. Things were going to work out okay. So, things have gone good for our girl... Thank you for playing. Oh, would you like a glimpse of the future? I was like shook for a second. Yes. The girl me that was hurt like of a friend and the end she found so much more. Candace and Amethyst get along. For the next college years, she bounces around roommates. Amethyst learns that just because some people aren't in our lives forever doesn't mean that time was wasted. Every life we encounter leaves a ripple and it's up to us to appreciate that time together. Okay, with Bentley... 
Amethyst and Bentley date for years. He proposes to Amethyst on a beach surrounded by friends and family. With time, their love grows. Even Poppy begins to settle down. All is well in the world. Thank you for playing. Aww. So that was the end, y'all. That was the end. So our girl Amethyst found her happiness, which I am so happy about. She met amazing friends. I wish it kind of had said what happened with... I know they did, um, what's her name? The roommate girl. I wish they had showed what happened with um, Margot and them. But I really enjoyed it. I loved that story. I thought it was really good. I loved Amethyst so much. I really loved Bentley. They were such a cute couple. The drama was good. They really added some good characters that were just kind of like those evil characters that you really didn't like. We, some of them you kind of liked. It was, it was, you know, it was a split. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the story. Give me some future recommendations. Of course, please go follow the amazing author Brie. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And before we go, the shout outs. A special shout out to Egypt Goddess, Shy Nation, and Therese Davis. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I am so sorry if I messed up anybody's names, but thank you so much for your support. It means the absolute world to me. I hope everyone is doing okay, and thank you so much for watching another story with me. I can't wait to see you in the next story or game or whatever we do, and I hope to see you then. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. I'm so, I'm so